out the bus. Talk to us about the bus. Let us know what's going on. So me and my friends, my, my, me and my amigos, I uh, two other stand-up comedians, Sebastian Rodriguez and David Martin, were converting a school bus into a tiny house sort of tour bus, and we're going to tour the country and do stand-up. Uh, we are called Scheme Supreme. Follow Scheme Supreme underscore on Instagram uh, and TikTok. And, but yeah, we're converting a school bus. And it, it's almost done. We're, we're planning on being out of here in November. And uh, the goal is just to, like, do shows across the, the, the country, you know, go into fucking cities, try to, like, work our way through cities, comedy scenes, and make content all across the country. So. That is an amazing. Yo, who thought about that idea? Uh... Seb was big into like watching van videos and and stuff like that, and he was always kicking around, being like, "Oh, like, wouldn't this be super cool?" And then we were going to music festivals together, and we were like, "Yeah, well, like, what if we had a bus?" And then, yeah, so then we we bought a bus on Facebook. No and way! <laughs> and you 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 found it on Facebook. The like, it was the here. In, yeah, it was here in Florida, in Orlando, only four hours away from Miami, and uh, we they went and checked it out. They didn't even tell me actually. Uh, cause they wanted to do a cute little video of surprising me with a school bus, but, uh, <laughs> no way. yeah, they didn't even tell me like the, we were planning on doing it. They were like, you're for sure down for this. And I was like, yeah, for sure for down for this. And I, uh, a, a big deal of it like was being like that we have to like park it in my, in my, my backyard. Cause it's perfect. You've seen where it's parked. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, I, it, it fits I, good too, dog. Like I, you guys got yeah, space there. Yeah. I knew it was perfect. And I was like, yeah, we're definitely going to be able to park my bus there but i hadn't asked my parents yet so then they bought the bus and we went and go up and saw it and i was like oh shit now i actually have to tell my parents we're fucking parking a bus back here dude so your parents didn't know you're like they didn't know it i I literally had to be like hey i have a school bus (laughs) like i own a school bus and it's going to be parked back here and they were chill with it it was all right ah yeah it was cool (laughs) (laughs) it took them a little bit we did all right we we got there Hell yeah, but they know that yo, you're gonna be chasing. We had the dreams, Shark right? Tank pitch them. We like had a business plan, and we're like, "This is what we're gonna make." We had other other visuals of like other school buses, and we're like, "This is what it's gonna look like." But yeah, we got it, and that was that was almost four years ago. In 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 Black Friday, uh, of this year, it'll be four years of it being down here. So you got the bus before coronavirus. Before coronavirus, and we every year we went. This is the year we're gonna leave. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's just so much work, dude. It was so much work. It's a lot. I saw the truck recently, and how how far away do you guys think you are right now? No, oh, we're hoping work? out of here in November, like four years. We, it took us four years, and we built a school bus, you know? 